It's estimated that more than 50 million Americans are the victims of financial fraud and scams. And right here in the southern tier, the Federal Trade Commission says seniors had more than one and a half million dollars stolen. U.S. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand was in the area today. She's introduced legislation to help seniors report these scams. WEMY Samantha Potter joins us live in the studio with more details on that new bill. Samantha. Nick and Renata, it's called the Senior Financial Financial Empowerment Act, and it's designed to improve the way fraud and scams are reported in order to prevent the elderly from becoming victims. I am so embarrassed, so sad, so felt so dumb. Charlotte Picklehop from Chemung County got a phone call one day from who she thought was her eldest grandson, Eric. He said he was at the U.S. Embassy in the Dominican Republic and got in trouble with the law and needed money. Uh, we need whatever 5000 again because Oma, I was, in a, I, I was, you know I don't take dope. I said, I know, hon, you don't. I mean, I've seen him grow up. It was so convincing and so soft-spoken, just like my grandson is. When everything was all said and done, the scammers took nearly $10,000 from Charlotte and her husband. You're being targeted by some of the most sophisticated criminals around the globe, so you should not feel embarrassed. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand says oftentimes these scams go undetected or unreported, which is why she's creating a database to fight senior fraud. It's called the Senior Financial Empowerment Act, and it would create a national hotline to give seniors more information and help them report fraud. Information would then go directly to the FBI. Elmira Police Sergeant William Solt says that they've seen an increase in elderly scams throughout the city. If you think they're from NYSEG or if they're claiming to be from a cable company and you don't feel comfortable, call the police, call a family member, call a neighbor, call somebody. And part of that bill would also include grant programs so places like the Office of the Aging could host training seminars to teach the elderly about these scams and how to report them so they don't become victims. Reporting in the studio, Samantha Potter, WENY News.